But here's the odd one. Because we never took pictures, I don't think. There's something on the floor. It looks like a picture? But as I stretched out my hand to pick it up, almost as if on its own, my hand froze. Oh, also the windows aren't barred. Or metal plated even. Huh? What I saw in that picture was... Chihiro, Leon and Mondo. And they were... Smiling? What is this? Questions started racing through my head, one after the other. Why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they used? How did it get it developed? And then the picture that And then the picture. The window in the classroom. There's no metal plate covering it. Which must mean whenever this picture was taken, it wasn't here at Hope's Peak. But there was no time to find an answer. All the questions floating around in my head were quite were quickly droned out by it's mine! Give it back! Monokuma appeared out of nowhere and snatched the photo. And any chance I had at answers evaporated. Ha! You picked it in you! Well! All they all had they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? Isn't that wonderful? They were definitely living their school life. It's likely you ripped the page right out of the book at you. What's going on with that picture? Do you know? I'm not telling you nothing! Oh? Uh -huh. See you later, fucker! Why can't you give me a straight answer? Never mind. I don't even know why I bothered asking. Right, so we got those three. So we got Hammer Bros. There were the mallets hanging on the wall. If I had to guess, I'd say they used them for making sculptures. A dolly. They must use it to move all these statues around. And of course, there's a monitor in here too. The mastermind is fur is furrow if nothing else. There's not much point in worrying about it now. I should just try I should try to just forget about it. Right, so that's this room done. I think that's all of this done now. Yeah. So we'll leave this. And then, where do we need to go next? Follow it around. Okay, yeah, down this corridor here. Oh no, this one. Physics. Fuck. This is the physics lab. So that's like a classroom, more like some kind of research in institute. Uh, right, so we got up there. Monokuma camera. And we've got that. This machine obviously has some kind of purpose, but... I don't know anything about physics to begin with, so I wouldn't have a clue where to start with this. Right, let's see if Taka's come out of frozen mode. Hey Taka, don't you think this place is some is like some kind of research institute? Still no reaction. Yeah, because he's in shock. What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Watch out! Oh, it said it. What? 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 You want to do some quantum leaping? Huh? Here. That's a time machine. Pretty awesome, right? Designed by a student here, right here, at Oaks Peak. The ultimate. The ultimate. Phys. Physicist. Although they don't go here anymore, they die during a tragedy. 
a time machine? Seriously? So, it can go back in time? Okay then, let me get in. If I can grab, go back to the past, then I can... This time I'll stop Monday for sure. Oh, sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. Then you just keep going in the time machine, surely. It comes in handy when you, like, leave your pizza bagels in the microwave one minute too long. One minute? Hmm, you sound disappointed. Hmm. But actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyway. There's no such thing as time machines. What? Hey, um... Honestly, it's just like an air purifier. Air purifier? In other words... It can produce clean air no matter where you're at. With that thing, you could even live on Mars. Oh. But what with the discombobulating gravity and deadly low temperatures, you probably don't want to live on Mars. You guys? I don't know why it says probably. I think that's meant to be probably, but I don't know. Anyway, this machine is the reason you guys have all have all this delicious air. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the shit. So don't come messing with it. You break it in, it's your butt. This huge thing is just an air purifier? And more than that. To go out of your way to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering. You bastard! There's materials, police, steel plates, magnets, and all kinds of stuff that I don't even recognize. I didn't read the first one, but I don't think it matters. Because it gave me one Akuma coin for it, so it can't be anything too important. Right, let's go in that door. This is the equipment room. It's super disorganized and there's a strange chemical smell in here. Uh -huh. Ah, this place is so relaxing, so calming! The smell of former life is almost unbearable. It's so tempting. Uh -huh. ah, I just, I want to just dunk myself right in it. Of course, Genocide, of course, Genocide Jack likes it. I just go show how disgusting it really is. There's a bunch of files here, probably... There we go. They can do probably some of the time, right? Right, some of the time, fucking hell. I don't know why I'm talking like Yoda now. Old lab files on research data. Go on, you crazy bitch. Uh -huh. Ah, it really is unbearable. A nice long bath in a tub of formalide. That's true happiness. Just thinking about it makes me, ah. Um, did you just come? Please tell me you didn't just come. Because that's, you know, you're kind of a maniac and a non-maniac might wake up in a minute and go, oh my God, what the hell has happened down there? Pendulums, wheels, wh rails, segments, all the equipment is scattered all over. They're all covered in dust too. They've obvi they obviously haven't been used in a long time. This is a tarp. There isn't anything strange about it. Seems perfectly ordinary to me. Right, we'll leave this one too. Just check that there's an. Oh, yeah, that. That thing there. Yeah. There we go. Oh, this is. This is a digital camera. It's got some kind of weird anime style design on it. It's kind of beat up, but it looks like it still turns out on. It still turns on just fine. Yep, it still works. I should show the others later. Hmm. I discovered lots of stuff. It was always strange. 
But I don't know if any of it was an actual clue. I'm just getting more confused. Maybe I should head to the dining hall and talk about it with everyone else. For now, I should head to the dining hall. Why there were two lines about going to the dining hall, I have no idea. When I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was... Ah. Hina! I tried to talk to her, but... My voice was immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed into the dining hall. Hina. Huh? I thought she was sick or something. Or something or nothing. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. You guys are all staring at my tits. It's not right. Hina. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> yeah. I ate a few donuts and that really helped a lot. You do love those donuts. Oh, just as much as I love the holes in the donuts. <laughs> oh, you know I'm talking about the film. Oh, yeah. But wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? Well... My stomach ache kind of made me hungry, so, you know. <laughs> I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Hmm. I say your yeah, goldfish will eat however much food you give it. Even if it's about to burst, please... You've fucking tested that, haven't you? Even watch Mr. Fucking Bubbles explode. Hmm. Hmm. You killed Nemo, you bastard! Mr. Sheen is pretty much a shame, it looks like. Just a second. Hey, you of all people don't have any room to talk. It's true. Well. Anyway, I was worried about you. Sorry. Besides that, you... <laughs> Jeez, your knockers are huge. What the heck? Did you convince them to double out a milk rejection? Yes, Stay away from her, fiend. My tits are better anyway. How oh, fucking gay! <laughs> anyway, first things first. We should talk about what we found. Right, Tucker? Right. I get your man here. Yeah. So, until the wavelengths there. Right. Tucker's not gonna be able to say anything. It's no use. It's no use! I can't remember what that was from. From something. It's no use! Oh, I just remembered. I saw Bioka a little while ago. What? <laughs> where? Where was he? What? You're, you're kinda scared of me. Kinda. She's got a knife to you, mate. I'd be fucking terrified. <laughs> where was he? Uh, um... He was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he must have got from the library. No, no. So that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. <laughs> Where the fuck she is gone. Huh? She just ran off. Is she okay? <laughs> we should not concern ourselves with her. Correct. There was a rather um, remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of a room, there was a machine bigger than anything I've ever seen before. Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. Huh? What's something like that doing in there? Here. Is the device really that big? I really don't get it. So are we underground? We could be underground then. Actually, we probably are, because that's like vault kind of door. So, um... Um, I wasn't able to help much with the investigation. But I did make one discovery. It, it didn't happen to be a donut related discovery, did it? Mm. Fucking hell. Bit harsh. What does that even mean? Right. Never mind. It's about the nurse's office. Remember? There's one on the first floor, right? Well. I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So then. Did you find any protate? Protate. <laughs> it looks like there's a space between the E and the I. Did you find any protein? <laughs> I kind of just want to keep it as protein. In okay. Did you find any protein in the in there? <laughs> Did you find any protein in there? Or even vitamin? Vitam in 
supplements will be fine. I did look, but no dice, just a bunch of headache medicine and over the counter stuff. I see. That's disappointing. It is disappointing, like the end of the world is already here. Um, I'm not sure it's that disappointing. I searched the entire furry floor, but all the windows and the halls and the rooms were blocked off. I wish they'd give this rest already, for serious. Give me back my bright blue skies. <laughs> Mr. Blue, you did it right. But soon comes Mr. Night, creeping over. Now his hand is on your shoulder. Never mind. I remember you. Just forget about it already. Impossible. You make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. A nickel back. Look at this photograph. Every time I do it makes me... Just to be sure. I went from one end to the other, testing each metal plate. None of them budged. So in the end... It would seem escape via the third floor is as impossible as we feared. I see. Yeah, we can arc room when you're first showing you gotta go kind of gear. Now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite porn. Oh yeah, speaking of porn, that reminds me, I found something while I was looking around. Oh god. <laughs> okay, that, that turned it differently. Hmm, a digital camera. That's what it seems like. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. Well then, let's see it. This thing is like a kid's toy. That went for it. It looks like it can stir, like a five pictures maybe. It does not have a timer or anything. Well, on top of that, its appearance seems questionable. Is there some kind of anime character? Strange. You know nothing. Ooh, she's not strange. She's Princess Pickles from Demon Angel, Pretty Pudgy Princess. Oh, you recognize this here for me? <laughs> of course, I recognize it. It's a super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest at a big anime convention. You have any idea how much I have to pay that guy to get my hands on it? Wait, that's my camera! What? Damnation. Wait, where did you find it? <laughs> Why the fuck was it you little shit? I'm gonna fucking murder you! In a physics lab. <laughs> It's my most prized possession. I brought it here with me, but I lost it on the first day along with my phone. Let's see. Where would it have reappeared in the physics lab? Okay, so there's a problem with that picture then. Can't have been taken anywhere else if Ifumi took it here last. Where would it have reappeared in the physics lab? However. Ah, but look at it! What? Well, there's either something wrong with a photo, or something else has happened that he can't remember. Or well, someone's stolen it. And then put it in physics lab for some reason. It all got, it got all messed up. Like when someone steals his ticket from your collection, or you buy a second hand shirt. Well, that's it. Huh? That's it? It's not mint condition, I don't need it anymore. But why aren't you just saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> then may I have it? I might be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Mm. Well, I can't really imagine any of us are going to take pictures or whatever. Yeah, true. Um, Wait, have we not talked to everyone? I thought we talked to everyone. He's trying to leave. Leaving isn't going to do any good. So is it... Do we not actually talk to her? Oh, shit, we didn't. It's because we talked to Ahina, and I thought, yeah, okay. I searched the entire third floor. Blow the windows and the halls and the rooms were blocked off. So in the end. It would seem escape via the third floor is as impossible as we feared. Oh, wait, no, maybe not. Maybe I'll talk to her. Found her way into the Memphis office. I see. Do -do -do. We've spoken to him. 